10 Scottish Least Expensive Seaside Towns for Home Buyers. Let us talk to the realtors this time. We are interested in those operating in Scotland. We understand that the real estate industry has experienced some dramatic changes in recent times, yet the love Brits have for the seaside has not changed. Homes in these seaside towns have always been highly sought after. But what about the cost? If you are among those interested in exploring a home here, here is a list of 10 Scottish least expensive seaside towns for home buyers. You can be sure that buying a home in one of those towns will not tear your pocket. Since market prices are hardly stable, even regular these days, we base this discussion on the Registers of Scotland of House Price Data for 2020. 10. Stranra. Stranra can be one of your best options. This is a seaside town in Dumfries and Galloway. Also known as the Toon, Stranra lies on the shores of Loch Ryan. It is on the northern side of the Isthmus, where it joins the Rins of Galloway to the mainland. The town, about 164 kilometres from Edinburgh and 140 kilometres west of Glasgow, is the second largest town in Dumfries and Galloway. As a seaside town, it used to be a ferry port serving as a connection between Scottish towns and Belfast and Larn in Northern Ireland. However, the last service was transferred from Stranraer to nearby Cairn Ryan in November 2011. Despite the general increase in home price, the average price of a home in Stranraer is still £110,674. 9. Irvine Irvine is another good seaside town for home buyers in Scotland. It is even less expensive than Stranra. This ancient settlement was a royal burr in medieval times. Today, it is a new town in North Ayrshire, Scotland, lying on the coast of the Firth of Clyde. It is the largest settlement in North Ayrshire. As of the 12th century, it was the military capital of Scotland and the headquarters of the Lord High Constable of Scotland, Hugh de Morville. It also served in ancient times as the capital of Cunninghame during the eras of David I, Robert II and Robert III. In this, one of the earliest capitals of Scotland, the price of an average home is currently around £109,685. 8. Wick The inclusion of the seaside town of Wick, a royal burr in Caithness on this list can be understood. The town in the far north of Scotland, straddling the River Wick and extending along both sides of Wick Bay, has no attractive economy. Thus, there is very little demand for homes in the town lying on the estuary of the River Wick, spanned by two road bridges. A specialist glass company was established in Wick in 1961, but in 1979, production started moving to Perth. By 2004, manufacturing in Wick ceased, severing the physical connection with Caithness. Thus, demand for everything available for sale at Wick has continued to decline since then. Even though it has quality homes with high standards, their average price is only £106,062. 7. Thurso Still less expensive than Wick is Thurso, a town and also a former burr on the north coast of the Highland Council area. This town at the junction of the north-south A9 and the west-east A836 roads is situated in the historical county of Caithness. As the northernmost town on Great Britain Island, it's connected to the Bridge of Force in the west and Castletown in the east. The 55-kilometre river Thurso flows through it and into Thurso Bay. The estuary of this river serves as a small harbour. The research from the Bank of Scotland with the ability to determine the movement of each pound within Scotland confirms this. This is in addition to our source that gives the average home price in Thurso as £104,041. 6. Saltcoats Saltcoats, a town on the west coast of North Ayrshire, is the sixth on our list. You'd guess right if you're relating this town to salt based on its very name. It actually derives its name from its earliest salt industry. In those days, the seawater of the Firth of Clyde was the centre of salt harvest, when it was being carried out in small cottages along the shore. However, salt isn't or is no longer the cheapest thing in this town, which is part of the three towns conurbation it formed with Ardrossan and Stevenston. This largest town in North Ayrshire isn't known as the seaside town with the cheapest salt price, but one of the least expensive seaside towns for home buyers, with an average home price of £102,164. 5. Greenock 
The town of Greenock, which is an administrative centre of the Inver Clyde Council area, is also a former burr located within the historic county of Renfrewshire. This town in the west central lowlands of Scotland is part of a contiguous urban area together with Gourock to the west and Port Glasgow to the east. This is one of the seaside towns where home buyers can have good deals if the price is the primary consideration. Lying on the south bank of the Clyde, at the tail of the bank at the depth of the River Clyde into the Firth of Clyde, the average cost of a home here is £99,994. 4. Rothesay Rothesay, the main town on the Isle of Bute, is in the Argyll and Bute Council area. Lying along the coast of the Firth of Clyde, this coastal town can be reached by ferry from Wemyss Bay, offering an onward rail link to Glasgow. There is the 13th century ruin of Rothesay Castle at the centre of the town and it is unique in the country for its circular plan. This town has an explanation for the increase in home prices if there is any hike. Not quite long ago, Rothesay was a beneficiary of a multi-million pound harbour development project which was just in time for the arrival of MV Argyle and MV Butte, the next two generations of Lower Firth ferries. Yet with an average of about £97,753, about eight properties could be bought here for the price of an average home in places like Sandbanks. 3. Campbelltown The third least expensive coastal town is Campbelltown, a former royal burr in Argyll and Butte. This town, lying by Campbelltown Loch on the Kintyre Peninsula, was originally known as Kinloch Kilkerran, which is an anglicisation of the Gaelic. It would interest you to know that this means Head of the Lock by the Kirk of Siran. In the 17th century, however, it was renamed Campbellstown after Archibald Campbell, Earl of Argyll, received the site in 1667. Thus, this seaside settlement came to be an important centre for Scotch whisky and a busy fishing port. It is now one of the places you would find the cheapest homes in Britain. Of course, the price there is not immune to the market forces of demand and supply, yet the average can still be pegged at £92,726. 2. Gervan Gervan is the second on this list. This is a burr and harbour town located in Carrick, South Ayrshire. The Scottish seaside town is situated on the east coast of the Firth of Clyde, 34 kilometres south of Ayr and 47 kilometres north of Stranra mentioned earlier. It is also the main port from Scotland to Northern Ireland as a seaside town offering ferries services. Govan remains one of the coastal towns with the cheapest homes in the entire UK. Since the world is now exposed to working from home, there have been remarkable increases in the price of homes in seaside towns since those living there do not have to physically move to big cities to keep their jobs. Yet the average price of homes in Gervan has been given in our source report as £90,210 only. 1. Millport Finally, topping the list of Scottish least expensive seaside towns for home buyers is Millport. This is a town and the only town on the Isle of Great Cumbrae, located in the Firth of Clyde, that is off the coast of mainland Britain. Millport in the council area of North Ayrshire is about 6 kilometres south of the ferry terminal, linking the island to the Scottish mainland. It's a great place to consider settling in. Because of its small size, both residents and visitors often consider the island and its town as Millport. It offers the most affordable properties not only in Scotland but across the UK. At an average of just £74,148, we consider Millport as the very least expensive seaside town for home buyers for our year in consideration, though it is witnessing some increase in the last few months. How satisfying it is to have a home in a seaside town! Which of these towns would you love to move to if cost is a factor? Please let us have your opinion in the comment section below.